Well, hi there. So, as you can see, I'm not at home in Derbyshire at the moment. I'm actually away on holiday and I want to do a little bit of painting. I come to this rather spectacular spot here on a Greek island, actually. It's, uh, I mean, it's absolutely stunning. And I want to do some painting. And that's really what I want to talk about in this video. I'm just going to talk briefly and just have a quick chat with you, but then I'll just do some painting. It's just one of those things, isn't it? You come away on holiday, or you go somewhere amazing and beautiful, something you've never been before, something you're only gonna be at for a short period of time. How do you make the most of that? How do you make the most of your painting? How do you make the most of your experience doing the painting? That's what I wanna talk about in this video. When you go somewhere that's a bit special, that you know you're not going to spend a lot of time at, you're not going to get much of a chance to do a huge amount of painting maybe. How do you make the most of it? How do you make the most of that experience and get the best out of it for your work? And I've done a lot of this over the years. And I've found that the thing that disrupts that the most, that disrupts the, the enjoyment and the pleasure and the positive experience of painting somewhere special, is the pressure that you put on yourself to create something amazing. And I've done it myself. I've done this to myself so many times. That I've taken a load of painting gear away with me and I've gone somewhere and I've sat down and I've tried to do these paintings that do justice to this landscape that I found myself in. And ultimately that just leads to this kind of disappointment because you're trying to do everything, get everything down. You're trying to say everything about that place that you possibly can. And that's incredibly difficult. Why put yourself under that much pressure? I think what's more important, and as you've seen me do in lots of my videos, is this kind of quick sketching and then taking it back to the studio and thinking about it afterwards. I think that, Doing it that way round and working in the way that I do, the way that I've found for me, I get the most out of it by working like this because it means that I can have this really enjoyable and positive experience of being in the place and soaking it in, getting some work done, sure, but just seeing what's there, not trying to finish anything, not trying to make finished painting, not trying to make great art, but just trying to get something down on the paper that reminds me of what it was like to be here. But crucially, having that enjoyable and positive experience while I'm doing it, rather than piling on the pressure and saying, oh, this isn't right, you know, I haven't got this right, and uh, I don't like this painting, it's not what I expected, it doesn't say enough about this place. So, because those kind of feelings, those kinds of um, that kind of attitude towards your work is quite negative. And that's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to get in my work. I'm trying to get this, this positive feeling <laughs> because, you know, it's very beautiful and I want to make the most of my time here. And by just getting something down on the paper, enjoying myself and then thinking about it afterwards. Thinking about it when I'm back at the studio. I can use the paintings that I do here today just to remind me of what it was like. Remind me of the light and the space and the color. But not try and get everything down, not try and make incredible artwork. Let's think about that later on. So when I go away on holiday, or I go somewhere special, somewhere that I'm not necessarily going to be returning to frequently, this is what I like to do, because I feel it enables me to get the best out of it, the most out of it for myself. Okay, let's have a go.
So before I go, I expect I'll do a few more little paintings. They're pretty quick. I like to do them nice and fast so that I don't overwork them. I was actually getting to a point with that last one that you saw where I felt that I needed to stop. I felt like if, I know I must stop, must stop now. <laughs> because otherwise I'm gonna just overwork it. I always find that it's better to have more that I maybe just slightly underworked than to have one or two which are overworked. Because once you've overworked them, you've lost the freshness and you've lost the energy and excitement. So I like to try and stop myself a little bit early. If I start to think that I'm going a bit too far, I'll pull back and say, right, it's time to start another one. And that's the beauty of working in this kind of sketchy way, where I'm just trying to get down a few things in each one, just trying to get a little bit of a sense of what it's like to be here without going too far into ending up making uh, pictures, like <laughs> seascape pictures. I mean, it's very easy to do that. It's very easy to get sucked into making pictures. And it's just not what interests me. I could sit here and do a painting which shows all the mountains in the background and the horizon of the sea and, you know, something that's a little bit more obvious and pictorial, but it just doesn't interest me. You know, I've done it before, I've done lots of it, and there's nothing wrong with it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I say all along that I don't care what kind of painting anyone does. Paintings, all paintings, great. It's, uh, you know, it's the, it's the best thing you can do. It's the best way to record the experience of being in a place because it makes you sit there, it makes you look and it makes you spend time in a place. So painting is the best way of recording somewhere for yourself because you get the sense of the time that you spent there. And it forces you to look really hard. So I don't care what kind of painting it is. So it can be as pictorial as you like. It can be as abstract as you like. It doesn't bother me at all. All painting is good. But for me, I like to try and get something just about the energy and the movement and the space and the light and the color and not worry too much about making it kind of inverted commas look like the place that I'm at because that's not what I'm trying to do. It's not what I'm trying to do in my finished work in the studio. So it's not what I'm trying to do while I'm outside sketching. And it's quite a hard thing to do. And it's why I switched from making that kind of start to finish work outside to doing this kind of sketching and collaging back in the studio because I feel like I'm able to be more creative and find ways of making images that I find more appealing. So anyway, I hope wherever you are, you're having a really nice summer and I'll be back in the studio in the next video and I'll be doing some cropping and collaging, having a really good play around with these. But for now, I'm just gonna soak it in, do a bit more painting and I'll see you soon.